This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and I have something really fun for you today. A few days ago, I received an email from Brian in Florida. He said he was sending me something special secured in an electronic smartphone locker. He asked that I pick it up from the post office quickly and see if I could defeat it before the timer ran out. As you can see, we have 41 hours and 13 minutes left until this automatically opens. Now, I'm not sure what I was expecting to find, but it certainly wasn't some Cuban cigars. All I can say is that sometimes it is good to be the lockpicking lawyer. So, let's see if we can figure out how to non-destructively get to the cigars without waiting 41 hours. Now, if we look at the main locking mechanism right here, there is very little flex in it. I doubt that I could slip any sort of shim in there, even if this was shimmable, and I don't know that it is. Moving to the back, we can look at the hinge. It doesn't look like this is something that just pops out like some of these plastic hinges do. I suspect if I push any harder, it's going to break. Looking at the bottom, I can see there appears to be a panel that can be removed and at either end is a rubber foot, which I suspect covers some sort of screw. Let's pry that rubber out and see what sort of fastener is underneath. Hopefully it's not a security fastener. Nope, it just looks like a Phillips screw. That doesn't quite reach down there. I'm going to have to get another set of screwdrivers. Let's try this one. Okay, that feels like it's coming out. There we go. Okay, we got this panel off. And here is the mechanism. I can see the motor that runs this. I can't manually turn it, probably because there's a gearbox, nor can I push on the locking lug, so that probably would not have been shimmable. I think probably our best bet here is just to put some power right into the back of that motor. I could do it with an external battery, or I could just bridge the battery that's in here to the motor wires. But I wanna try one thing first. I wonder if we just unplug it to take the power out and plug it back in, whether that will do anything. I heard the motor move, let's check it out. And we got this open. Okay, folks. Obviously, this wasn't meant to be or built to be a real security device. It's just a fun little novelty for, I guess, testing your self-control. That said, I've seen more than a few actual security devices with the exact same vulnerabilities. In any case, that's all I have for you today. Brian, thank you so much for the great package. To everyone else, if you do have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.